Once upon a time, nestled on a quiet street in a small town, stood a house that was the talk of the town. Its sheer size and grandeur were the subject of much gossip and ridicule among the townsfolk. People would pass by and gawk at the imposing structure, pointing and laughing at what they deemed as excessive opulence. However, little did they know that this house held a secret, and their laughter would soon turn into awe and admiration once they stepped foot inside. The house belonged to Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, an elderly couple who had lived in the town for decades. Mr. Johnson had made a fortune through his successful business ventures, and he and his wife had decided to build their dream home with their hard-earned wealth. The construction of the house took several years to complete, and during that time, rumors spread like wildfire among the townspeople about the extravagant size of the house. Some called it a monstrosity, while others mocked it as a castle in a town of cottages. The laughter and snide remarks echoed through the town, but the Johnsons remained undeterred. Finally, the day arrived when the Johnsons opened their doors for a housewarming party. Invitations were sent out to the entire town, and their curiosity peaked. The townspeople eagerly accepted the invitation, eager to finally see the interior of the much maligned house. As the guests arrived and stepped inside, their laughter slowly faded into awe. The interior of the house was a sight to behold. The Johnsons had spared no expense in designing a home that was not only spacious, but also tastefully decorated. The rooms were adorned with elegant furniture, intricate chandeliers hung from the ceilings, and the walls were adorned with exquisite art. The expansive living room was a vision of luxury with plush sofas and a grand piano that beckoned to be played. The dining room was fit for royalty with a long table that could comfortably seat a dozen guests and a crystal chandelier that cast a warm glow over the room. As the guests explored the house further, they were amazed by the attention to detail and the meticulous craftsmanship that had gone into every nook and cranny. The library was a book lover's paradise with walls lined from floor to ceiling with shelves filled with leather-bound volumes. The kitchen was a chef's dream with state-of-the-art appliances and a spacious island that could easily accommodate a team of sous chefs. The bedrooms were luxurious sanctuaries with plush beds, walk-in closets, and ensuite bathrooms that boasted marble countertops and jacuzzi tubs. The Johnsons, who had been silently observing the reactions of their guests, couldn't contain their joy as they witnessed the transformation of laughter into amazement. They took their guests on a tour of the house, sharing stories of the inspiration behind each design choice and the memories they had already made in their new home. The townspeople were captivated by the Johnsons' warmth and hospitality, and they were humbled by the couple's generosity in opening their home to the entire town. As the evening progressed, the mood in the house shifted from curiosity to camaraderie. The guests mingled with each other, enjoying the lavish spread of food and drink that the Johnsons had laid out. Laughter and conversation filled the air, and the once mocked house had become the epicenter of a joyous celebration. The townspeople realized that the Johnsons' home was not just a physical structure, but a labor of love that represented their years of hard work, dedication, and a deep appreciation for the finer things in life. As the night came to an end, the townspeople bid farewell to the Johnsons with gratitude and admiration. They left the house with hearts full of newfound respect for the couple and their home. The laughter that had once echoed through the town had been replaced with admiration and appreciation for the Johnsons' vision and taste. In the days that followed, the story of the Johnsons' house spread beyond the small town. News of the breathtaking interior and the Johnsons' generosity in hosting the townspeople spread like wildfire, garnering attention from neighboring towns and even the media. The once-mocked house was now the talk of the region, and people from far and wide were curious to see it for themselves. The Johnsons graciously welcomed visitors to their homes, giving guided tours, and sharing the stories behind the design choices and the memories they had created within those walls. Many were amazed by the opulence of the house, but more importantly, they were touched by the Johnsons' humility, kindness, and unwavering commitment to giving back to their community. The Johnsons also used their newfound home to raise awareness and funds for charitable causes. They hosted fundraisers and donated generously to local charities, showing that their opulent home was not just a symbol of wealth, but also a means to make a positive impact on the lives of those in need. Their selflessness and generosity inspired others to follow their lead, and their house became a beacon of philanthropy and goodwill in the region. As time passed, the perception of the Johnsons' house changed completely. What was once mocked and ridiculed was now admired and respected. The townspeople and visitors alike realized that the size of the house was not a reflection of vanity or excess, but rather a manifestation of the Johnsons' hard work, 
success, and their desire to create a haven for themselves and others to enjoy. The Johnsons continued to open their home to the community, hosting events, gatherings, and even opening a small art gallery in one of the wings of their house, showcasing local artists' work. They became beloved figures in the town, known not just for their opulent home, but also for their kindness, generosity, and community involvement. They became mentors and benefactors, supporting aspiring entrepreneurs and students, and contributing to the town's growth and development. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.